This is 11.36. Has a nice lot, heavily treed. It is on a short dirt road off of Roberts. About 150 feet to the pavement. Has a one car carport. See lots of evidence of rot. Definitely needs a roof. Inside of the home, you can see numerous leak areas. Lots of areas of soffit needs attention. Oil tank for an oil burning furnace. You can see the roof here has a tarp on it. Outside AC unit compressor. It does have the inside unit as well. It is functioning. However, it does not feel like it's cooling the house. In the carport, you can see evidence of leak damage. Small storage room when you come in off the carport. When you walk into the house, you enter the laundry room, which has water softener in it. Small hot water heater. From there, you walk directly into the kitchen. Kitchen cabinets appear to be falling apart. See leak issues in the wall. Leak issues in the ceiling. The vinyl composite tile on the flooring. The house does have central heat and hair now. However, you'll see areas that have been framed out that used to be for window units. This is the back floor to room area here. Vinyl composite tiles popping up. Lots of leak issues in here too. This would be the main living area. The interior walls, other than the exterior, have wood paneling on them. It's been painted white. Here's the first bedroom. Lots of leak issues on the wall. Has a small closet. Hall closet. Bedroom number two. Both bedrooms are about the same size. Lots of leak issues in this room. Wood paneling's in bad shape. This closet also has the uh, main panel, which is old screw-in type fuses. This would need to be addressed. Plywood over a uh, hole in the wall there. Air handler appears older. It's like last service update of uh, 05. This is the one bathroom. Has tile on the floor. Walk-in shower. Shower's rather small. You can see cracking on the tile. It did match cracking on the outside as well. And this completes our tour.